Hello, 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 welcome YouTube to my LP of Pokemon Fire Red. My name is Nori Boy, and I'm going to be your lp -er through this. I'm going to be recording all of this and putting it up for you, the beautiful viewers on YouTube, to watch at your leisure. So here we are on the beginning of Pokemon Fire Red, as you saw just there, and we're getting right into it straight away. with Professor Oak. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! That's my Professor Oak impression. I hope it's not too bad. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by Nidoran. I mean Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. As for myself, I study them as a profession, hence I'm a professor. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself, because I can't see you. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, you're a boy. What's your name? Well, as you might expect, I'm going to call myself Nori, because I'm Nori Boy Games, NBG. Right, so your name is Nori. Yes, it is. This is my grandson. He's an asshole. He's been your rival since you were both babies when you were fighting over rattles and whatnot. Uh, but I forget his name. What a dumbass. How can you forget your own grandson's name? What kind of absentee grandfather does he actually have? Now, normally I'd name him after one of my friends or something like that, but I'm going to go and call him Gary, but with the lowercase letters. That's why I didn't just choose it off the menu, because that just feels more polite. Uh, was it Gary? Yes, it was. That's right, I remember. I never forgot. I'm not being stupid. His name is Gary. Nori! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures and being attacked by gangs of criminal organizations. Let's go. By let's go, it always makes me think that he's going to come with you and then not just give you a mission and stand in one place for the rest of the game. But there you go. I want to know why Red or Nori has a potion if he doesn't have any Pokemon. Did somebody just send it to him? Like, yeah, here's a potion. You're never going to use it, but there you go. Mother. All boys leave home someday. It said so on the TV. It also said I should give you money for no reason. Oh, no, she's not going to do that. Never mind. Anyway, let's get these options sorted out before we leave the house. Uh, tech speed fast. Oh, wrong. And, yes, the red frame, because that is a good colour to have. Alright, let's get moving. Along to Professor Oak's house. Do, 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 do. No, I'm just kidding, I know you're not supposed to go to Professor Rock's house first. This is not my first time playing Pokemon Fire Red. Into the tall grass. Suicide. Hey, wait, don't go out. Professor, it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass, but since there is no other way out of the village, you will have to live here forever. You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know, come with me. So, like, if you step out of the grass with no Pokemon, do the rats just gnaw you to death? Is that basically what happens? How do you go to the market? There's no market in this town. Ah, oh, never mind. I'm sure they know what they're doing somewhere. Oh, I miss Gary. Gary? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. <laughs> oh, that's just, you know what I mean? It's the worst thing for a grandfather to say to somebody. Just wait. Here, Nori, I'm going to give you something better than my grandson. Ha ha ha! The Pokémon are held inside these Pokéballs. When I was young, I was a serious trainer, but have since murdered them all. Take these three before I hurt them. <laughs> you can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair! What about me? What about you, you entitled little shit? Uh, sorry. Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. <laughs> Got to turn into Spotswood from Team America, though. <laughs> Gary, suck my cock. <laughs> okay, um, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. I think I'm going to go with Squirtle, because I like Squirtle. 
and it saves you up to look for a decent water type later on. Name the squirrel, yes I will, and I will call him... Oh, her! I will call her... Um... Give me a sec. Alright, I've decided, I think I will call her Umbra. For no other reason than it's all I can think of. And it's a unisex name, so... You know. I wasn't really planning on getting a female squirrel. But never mind, that's just how things go. Well, I'm going to leave here with no repercussions. Hopefully this asshole won't attack me for no apparent reason. Oh, never mind. Wait, Nori, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. All right, let's have a battle, Dickface. That's what I should have called him. I should call him Dickface, because that's what I'm going to call him anyway. Rival Gary sent out Bulbasaur. Go, Umbra. Oh, for Pete's sake. So, push your shadow walk. I know how to battle, as I said, not my first rodeo. Tackle! Inflicting damage on- oh! Yep, skipped him again. <laughs> that's, what, that's something else, I don't know how often I'm going to use this fast forward feature, but hopefully not as often as, you know, like all the time. A critical hit, really? Well, I suppose you are just catching up. Tackle. This is just a tackle fest. As with the first battle in every Pokemon game, it's a tackle fest. Or a scratch fest if you pick Charmander. Oh, can't lose, can't lose, can't lose. If I'd missed or something there, I would have just used the potion, so there's no way I would have lost it. Uh, so level 6. If you can't level up from the first one in the game, you should just restart, because if you lose the first battle of the game, it's clearly not going to start well. Uh, yeah, I guess I should say this is probably not going to be a Nuzlocke run. I haven't really decided. Um, I'm hopefully not going to get so far that I have to make that decision. But um, it'll probably just be a normal playthrough with you know six Pokemon that I've picked out it in advance, and I know who I'm going to play as, and I know what skill set I'm going to have, and what type coverage I'm going to have. But if for some reason I do decide, oh, random ball, uh, right, shock. If for some reason I do decide that I am going to do a Nuzlocke run, then I suppose I better not let Umbra die, otherwise I'll have to restart. Um, but if, you, if you'd have a preference, if you'd prefer I do a Nuzlocke run, or if you'd prefer just to see a normal playthrough with no special rules attached, uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know what you think of me and my commentary. I am very, 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 very new to this, so feedback is appreciated. I mean, helpful feedback, not somebody saying, Hey, you're a dick, man. I don't want to hear you talk for 15 minutes or 10 minutes or however long you're going to do this. Because you wouldn't write that, because that's how somebody would speak. But, you know, constructive. Constructive criticism. Let's be constructive here. We're all adults, or at least we should be. Because, I mean, let's face it, how many kids are sitting watching Pokemon on YouTube? It's mostly... Mid-twenties who are um, feeling the rush of nostalgia. <laughs> oh, um, excuse me, one moment. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so... Oh. Sorry about that, yeah, so, um, let me know what you'd prefer. Because I'm very new to this and I appreciate the feedback. Anyway, I'm getting my ass kicked off this Pidgey. You get healed up, don't you? Yeah, you get healed up off Professor Rook after you fight Gary. Level 7, hooray, okay. So, move on. so moving on, learn bubble, bubbly bubbly bubbly, help with the first gym which is probably going to go down like a prostitute on weed now, god that was a terrible analogy, I had no idea what I was thinking. Uh, okay, bubble, I might speed up some of the random battles especially if I'm in a hurry to um, you know, fill out the time quarter. I don't want these episodes to be too long, especially since I'm just starting off after all. So, off to the shop. I should probably go to the Pokemon Center first. In case I faint. Don't want to end up back at home. Or otherwise, uh, what would be the point? Mm -hmm -hmm. Heal me, Nurse Joy. One of the, another tedious part of Pokemon that the fast forward button will come in handy for is healing. And whatnot. Mart. Hello, Mart. Man that we used to. Won't sell me anything. What kind of uh, shopkeeper is he? 
I mean, even if you wanted somebody to take something, you'd still sell them stuff for the money, wouldn't you? It's like, oh yeah, I need you to deliver this push. Yeah, yeah, you can, uh, you can buy some Pokeballs or some potions. But, plot device, so, Nintendo love their plot devices. Like, in black and white, where you can't go across the bridge because the gym leader won't let you. You have to fight the other gym leader to make them let you go across. Yeah, right. They couldn't close off a whole bridge like that, it would back up traffic. Especially Univer, which is supposed to be the Pokemon World's version of America. Imagine if America closed all the bridges just because one guy didn't want you to. The Golden Gate Bridge. The mayor of San Francisco says, No, you can't come in. I'm trying to keep criminals at bay. And if he's a redneck, that would also be kind of weird. If you think of it, what are you doing in San Francisco? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've never been to America. There might be loads of rednecks in San Francisco. Oh, right, I have something for you two to do, rather than run around mindlessly. It's a Pokédex. It tells you things you don't really need to know. I mean, really, have you seen... Like, there's a video I watched where they... Some of the weirdest Pokemon Pokédex entries, and some of them are really creepy. Really sinister. So, what are you guys thinking? It eats children. What? Why would you let them capture it, then? Still gonna want to eat children, even if it's tame. Anyway, blah blah blah. You're going on a quest. Blah blah blah. Tell me blah blah blah. I'm blah blah blahing because I mean, come on, who hasn't played the opening of a Gen One Pokemon game? I mean, fair enough, this is a Gen Three remake, but it's a Gen One Pokemon game. It's the ones I prefer because of the better graphics. I'm a little bit of a graphic, so I mean, you play Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue, and you're thinking that is not a Charmander. That is something you had in a fever dream when you were on crack. I mean, I mean coughing with face at the wrong side? No, 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 no. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here, and next time we will continue on to Viridian City, and I will decide whether or not I am doing a Nuzlocke run or not. But as I say, I have a preference. Let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to look them over and do what you, the viewers, want to see. So until next time, I'm Nori Boy Games. Peace.